I'm going to use this laser demo to show how glasses affect what's happening in your eyes and correct for your vision errors. But first, we need to understand those vision errors that make your vision worse. So a properly functioning eye looks at something far away, takes in that light, and focuses that down onto a spot on your retina on the back of your eye. And if that spot is nice and focused to a very tiny point, you have nice sharp resolution and can see the world clearly. So that's again looking at something very far away like a star. In reality, if objects are closer, the image on the screen shows how that focus point actually happens inside of your eye and an upside down image forms on your retina. But this setup, looking at something far away, is the easiest way for us to explain proper vision and then for me to show those different vision errors. So that's how your eye should work, but about 60% of the world's population needs some kind of vision correction. So one of the most common forms of that is nearsightedness, where instead of your eye focusing light from far away onto a point on your retina, your eye is too strong. It's focusing that light inside of your eyeball. So by the time that light reaches your retina, those light rays have spread out and things become more blurry. If you're nearsighted, your eyes are better at looking at things up close. So things up close will be in focus, while things further away will be more blurry. This can happen if you stare at screens or books very close to your face for a while. So there are actually increasing rates of nearsightedness because everybody spends so much more time looking at screens as kids. Farsightedness, on the other hand, is the opposite of this. So instead of your eye, focusing light sooner than it should, farsightedness is your eye trying to focus light later than it should. So you can see it's hitting your retina before the light comes to a point of focus. And again, that makes your vision blurry. If you have farsightedness, things further away are more in focus while things up close to you are more blurry. I'll cover one more of these vision errors before talking about what glasses do and how they address these. So astigmatism is also very common, with 40% of adults having some level of astigmatism. That just means that your eye is shaped asymmetrically. Usually it's the cornea on the front of your eye, where instead of being a nice circle, it's more like an oblong, you know, oval shape stretched out in one direction. So what does that do? If you have that asymmetric cornea, your eye will focus light differently in different directions. So maybe vertically, up and down, it focuses light just fine, but horizontally in the perpendicular direction, you might be nearsighted or farsighted. So that's what's wrong with your eyes. Here's how glasses fix those things. First, you need to know that there are two main types of lenses, positive or plus lenses, which are the kinds of lenses we've been using so far, and negative or minus lenses. Positive or plus lenses, like we've been showing, take in light and focus that down to a point. While on the other hand, negative or minus lenses spread light out so these light rays are getting further away from each other instead of focusing down to a point. So if you're nearsighted, again your eye is too strong and focuses that light sooner than it should. So what we need to do is push back that point of focus onto the retina where it should be. So if you're nearsighted, your glasses will be those negative or minus lenses that spread light out because we don't want to focus the light more, we want to focus the light less. So putting those lenses in front this lens is too powerful. It completely counteracts this first lens and has the lines almost straight again. But if I had a weaker one of these negative lenses, it would push back the point of focus. So instead of being nearsighted, you see things clearly. While if you're farsighted, you would want an additional positive lens. So another lens that bends light like the lens in your eye does. So the farsighted eye doesn't bend light sharply enough. So it doesn't come to a point of focus when it hits the retina. So adding a pair of glasses for farsightedness puts a positive lens up front, and here you can see it moves up that point of focus. Again, this lens is too strong. It's moving the point of focus inside the eyeball, but if I had a weaker one of these positive lenses, it would move up the point of focus onto the retina right where it should be. When you look at your glasses prescription, the very first number will be spherical or SPH. If it's a positive number, that means that you're farsighted and have a positive lens in your glasses, moving up the point of focus. And if it's negative, you're nearsighted and have a negative lens pushing back that point of focus. And the magnitude or size of that first number describes how strongly your lenses either focus or spread out light. So a lower number means you have a weaker lens. Let's say it focuses the light to about there, while having a larger number focuses that light sooner. 
This lens is a little small, it doesn't hit the top laser, but you can see that focus happening way sooner than the smaller number. But I mentioned that astigmatism is weird. Because your eye is asymmetric and bends light differently in different directions, the lens used with it has to be curved differently in different directions. If I rotate this lens for astigmatism, you might be able to tell that its thickness and curvature changes across different parts of the lens. It's kind of warped. And so that lens for astigmatism, as I rotate it, bends light either more strongly or less strongly because it counteracts that asymmetric shape of your eye. If you look at your glasses prescription, the CYL or cylinder number describes the amount of astigmatism you have. If it's zero, you have no astigmatism. And the higher that number is, the more strongly your eyes are asymmetric and you need that kind of astigmatic lens. And then the axis number on your lens prescription describes the orientation of that astigmatism. It might not be perfectly right up and down, it's most likely at some kind of angle, which is what that axis number describes. There are some other issues that your glasses could address though, like double vision. That's when your two eyes aren't focused to the exact same spot, so you're actually seeing two images of the world offset from each other. It's kind of like a weird shadow, but you can get prism glasses to correct for this. Those glasses are thicker on one side compared to the other. And so in that case, that shifts the focus of one of your eyes. It changes the path of light going into that eye so that your eyes are again focused on the exact same spot that gets rid of that double vision. And if you have a prism number in your eye prescription, you have these kinds of glasses balancing the effects of double vision. Contacts can be used to do all the same things we just talked about. You can have positive and negative contact lenses. They can have an asymmetric shape to correct for astigmatism or maybe that prism wedge in them. They're just much smaller lenses going right up against your eye. I have other videos diving into ideas like the pros and cons of aspheric glasses lenses, but if there's another specific vision or glasses related topic you'd like me to talk about, definitely let me know down in the comments. Thanks.